With the pandemic, many people have had to pivot and create at-home offices and classrooms in their homes. But how, how, how and now, many months in, are you realizing your space could actually be more organized and maybe even functional? Our Michelle Oliver met up with an expert to get her advice on how to make your home office work best for you. Welcome to my home office. This is the computer where I edit all of my pieces for Live in the D. Like many, I had to create this space a little last minute, so it's not very well thought out. So to help me with my space and to help you with your home offices or at home classrooms, I turned to Lauren Combs, the owner of Meet Method Detroit, to get her advice on how to make our spaces more functional. This was a bedroom, a small bedroom. We wanted to make it functional for the kids and that they would have most of the space to themselves. And so we took apart the closet and we made it into a little office. As you can tell, Mine's a bit messy. I have my cup from my coffee in the morning, a plate from my breakfast. I have a cat toy here. So there's a lot that can be cleared away. So that's what I'm gonna do. I like to keep surfaces as clear as possible. I work a lot on my laptop so I can place it down and have room. I can still put a notepad and pen next to me. I keep my, my sticky notes and my notepads and my pens all in a clear organizer and I can easily just bring that down to the desk surface too, which is really nice. And then if I wanna clear off the desk, I just put it right back up. It's amazing how much clearing off this desk has helped, but now I need to figure out where to put all the stuff I took off. When you have a limited space and you know, you, you're working with limitations, especially size, uh, you really need to give everything a home. We really thought about from you know, floor to ceiling and using that vertical space and uh, building shelves all the way up that functioned well. Sort of the everyday things are you know, right in front of me or right above me and then the things that I might not need quite as often that I might only be touching once a month might be a couple shelves up. The so one thing I had a lot of on my desk were papers, and I need to find a home for them per her suggestion. So I searched around my house, I found a couple of old filing cabinets. This one I actually made out of cereal boxes, and I bought a few new things just to motivate me and now I'm gonna organize them. So everything has a home and everything's labeled, so I know right where to go to find you know, an extra notebook, more business cards, things like that. So everything has sort of a box or a home and it's labeled. Now it's time for me to find a place for everything else. I think especially with kids, you wanna be able to see through it because not all kids read the same, you know, because of their different ages and things like that. I found that they, it is easier for them to, to color and to, to work on their homework when things are out and it's easy just to pick it up versus opening a drawer and, and getting things out that way. Finding things at home, making but making it functional, making it organized, making it clutter free, it gives you just a sense of less stress, more calm, less anxiety to live a, a better day. If you want to make that filing cabinet out of cereal boxes that Michelle had, we are reposting that story on the Live in the D Facebook page. And if you need help with your organization project, contact Neat Method Detroit. You can do it? I, I, no, what? Uh, what? <laughs> All we have to do is get up my daughter's like corner desk cleaned up where she does her Zoom schooling and you know stuff like that. So get all that squared away, I think we should be good.